It is a stunning statistic. Nearly 50% of college students in the U.S. are going hungry, even at elite universities. Since the recession in 2008, universities have seen their revenues decline and overall state funding for public colleges and universities remains $9 billion below its pre-recession levels. Well, in response, universities have been raising tuition by an average of 35%. Some states even increased tuition by 60%. So even if a student can afford the price of tuition, many struggle to pay other costs, including food. Sarah Goldrick Rabb is a professor of higher education policy at Temple University in Philadelphia. She's also the author of Paying the Price, College Costs, Financial Aid, and the Betrayal of the American Dream. It's so nice to have you with us. What does a student look like? Well, it's, there's a variety of students who are going through this, frankly. Um, some of these students came up in households that didn't have a lot of money, even when these students were little. So poor students going yeah. off to college, still poor. Other students, though, are really facing this problem for the very first time. Their families are middle class. They worked very hard to help them get to school. They might have saved some money. But a year or two into college, those savings are exhausted, and students find themselves short. And so for the very first time in their lives, they're experiencing the conditions of poverty. I think a lot of people, when they think of college students, think they're eating on a very generous meal plan. Uh, in fact, they're probably even overeating. Remember, we talked about the mm -hmm. freshman 15 mm -hmm. and, you know, ditching trays of food, wasting food all the time. Is that really not the reality of a college student today? It isn't, although people continue to have that image. And I think that, you know, frankly, what's still the case that we say college and people think Harvard. That's really not true. Only 13% of American undergraduates live on a college campus. Many of them live at home. They even help to pay the bills at home. It's not like mom and dad are giving them an allowance every day. And many of them are also living with children. Many of them, those are their own children. And they are finding it very hard to make ends meet. So the profile of the college student has also changed. It has absolutely changed. And frankly, for the better, because we know that going to college is one of those things that can help to ensure economic success. So more people from all walks of life are going. It's just that some are really getting into trouble. Food pantries are opening on college campuses mm -hmm. all over the place. Is mm -hmm. that the answer to sort of hand out free food to, to bolster those students who aren't eating? Yeah, I mean, it, the truth is that we can't food pantry our way out of this problem. However, the College and University Food Bank Alliance started about five years ago. It had maybe a dozen members, and now it has more than 700. And the reason that that is a good thing is it means that there are at least 700 colleges and universities who are doing something. So then what's the solution? I mean, is it saying, listen, you got to lower tuition or or, hey, listen, there's got to be a line in there for food. If you're going to give mm -hmm. someone aid, you actually have to increase it so that you're actually paying for food as well. What, what does solutions look well, like? Well, the thing is that food is already in the budget that students could, in theory, get financial aid for. The problem is that financial aid doesn't keep up with those costs. Do you think five years from now, you and I will be sitting here having this exact same conversation? Maybe there'll be another 200 food pantries, but essentially the issue will not have moved? Or do you think there's real motion in fixing and solving this problem? I think there actually is motion. And I'm somebody who, you know, really criticizes uh, a lack of momentum when there really isn't one. Do I think that we will eliminate all food insecurity among college students in five years? Absolutely not. But I think that we could see it reduced by at least a quarter, and that would be a step in the right direction. Sarah Goldrick-Rabb, nice to have you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.